After you've signed up for Squarespace and you have an account, the first thing that you have to do is choose the theme that you're gonna use with your website. And there are a ton of themes that you can choose from. All of them have slightly different layouts, although they more or less have all of the same aspects to them. So really it just is picking the right theme for you. The one you think that is going to suit the type of content that you wanna put on the page. So anyway, I'm gonna choose this theme for now and then we'll get started and go on with the tutorial. So really with Squarespace, everything is really simple and easy. And there's really two main areas that you can edit and change. The first is the look and feel of each page. And the second is adding, deleting and changing pages themselves. So when you come into Squarespace, you can edit the homepage by clicking this button, or you can just press the up button down in the bottom left hand corner. Both of those options take you through to the same thing, which is your homepage. So I'm going to just click on edit homepage and it will take us through to the theme and all of the boxes and different areas that we can change. Everything on Squarespace is done with boxes and everything could be edited and changed box by box. So as you can see, there is a top box here. It is highlighted in blue. And as I scroll down, and click on this box. Now this box is highlighted in blue and they are both different and can be edited separately. You can also scroll down more, click on this box that is now highlighted in blue. So that is separate to the rest and you can change it as you like. If you look down at the bottom, there are a couple of options that you can choose. The arrows actually let you rearrange the order of the boxes. So this box right now is here. Let's say I want it above this box. Then I just highlight this box so it's in blue. Then I press the up arrow and it's switched. It's now above that box. That box is now below it. I can then choose this box by clicking it, press the up button, and I have now rearranged the boxes as well. If you want to delete this box, you don't like it, you don't want it there, you can press the delete icon and it is gone. Just confirm that and there it is, it has been deleted. You can also edit each box. If there is text on there, you can just highlight the box in blue. So the top box is highlighted. Now I've highlighted this one. If I press again anywhere on the text, it will just come up with a simple text editor. So I'm just gonna very quickly write something in here as a header. And I'm happy with that. So I'm just going to click anywhere off of the box. And the reason why I have uh, done get stronger is because I'm going to make this a website to do with fitness. So I'm a personal trainer or maybe starting a new gym and I want basically to put all of my fitness regimes and also just some adverts for my fitness center and my personal training. So obviously I'm gonna have to change this picture up at the top because this has nothing to do with personal training. So just like with every box, you just highlight the box by touching it and then you edit each box down at the bottom with the options. So I'm gonna maybe change out this picture. So I'm going to edit this box bottom left. I want to definitely change the image in here. So I'm going to click on background and I'm just going to replace this. You can either delete it by pressing that button or replace it. When I press replace, it's gonna take me through to my photo library. So I've got some images in here actually that I just uploaded to my phone as you can see. So I'm going to choose maybe this one. I think that's quite good. Let's see how it looks. Okay, I think that looks actually really, really cool. As you can see, it's just changed and it's bled into the very top box there, which is just a menu bar. I think that looks pretty cool, definitely fitness oriented. You can go down on the background options as well and actually change this. So there's a setting for overlay opacity. If I turn this up, it just makes it a little bit darker or lighter. I think light is maybe not that great because obviously the text doesn't stand out that much. Maybe just make it like really cool looking and just have the picture just sort of coming out of the background. So that's a really cool option there. You can also change the background width. So it can be inset like this, which basically gives it a border. And then the top box has no picture bleeding through. I really like the full bleed effect though. I think it looks really cool. So I'm gonna leave it like that. If you wanna swipe down this menu, you can either go back or you can highlight the gray bar just at the top of this and you can swipe it down or you can just go back and look at the other options. So you can change colors, for example. So if I swipe this back down to about half, I can actually change some of the colors in terms of the overlay and the opacity. I'm not gonna do that though. I think it was black was pretty good. So I'm gonna have that like that. I think that looks really good. Go back to section settings. You can also change the format of it. So you can make it maybe larger. 
medium, small, that's in terms of the section and the width as well. That's not going to change too much on this one because we're doing it on the phone. But if you were to look at this on a computer, that would look different. So going back to section settings, I'm done with that now. So I'm just gonna swipe that down and away. That looks a lot better. Now I can change the text and actually have it something to do with fitness and personal training. Right, so I've changed that now and it's definitely looking better. I've just got some random name in here. Fitness CG is the name of my personal training or my gym, a healthier lifestyle, a little tagline. You can actually change this button as well, which is really cool. This is a button that people may go through to maybe your contact page or maybe a page of all of your options and rates. Learn more is kind of ambiguous. So to do with fitness, I'm just gonna go get something like that and I think that's okay. I'm gonna just keep it in the middle. I think that's good. You can maybe make it larger or smaller depending. I think medium is okay. I'm just gonna swipe down that options box and that is a call to action for your clients. As we swipe down, this now is actually a video box. And this is a really cool option. So you can maybe link to a video. You don't have to upload a video to Squarespace. You can actually link to some videos that you can find on YouTube. So I'm actually gonna edit this because this is way too much text for me. So I'm just gonna double click on the box and the text. Then just edit the text like you would in any text editor. So I've just written something that's definitely unique to me, just about pumping iron, getting fit, losing fat, just leading a healthier lifestyle overall. And of course, this video now is just nothing to do with fitness. It's to do with the outdoors. So we need to change that. So just highlight the video. You can't click on the text, that won't change it. Highlight the video. And then as you can see the box down at the bottom, video, and it has a video URL. And you can go onto YouTube or Vimeo or a couple of other sites put the URL of that video in here and it will actually be watchable on your Squarespace website. I just got a video that I found on YouTube and I think it looks pretty good. So just as an example, just to show you, so highlight the video, then go to the URL, X that off so you have a clean slate, go and paste the URL of the video that you want in there. It's searching and it's successfully located that video. Um, there's a custom thumbnail option on here at the moment as you can see, I'm gonna click off because at the moment this custom thumbnail just isn't good for me. I'll use the one that they used on YouTube so I can just turn that off and it will use the YouTube thumbnail. So if we swipe down now, you can see it's essentially just put the YouTube video implanted onto this page now. And what you can do is just play that when you aren't editing it. So that looks a lot better now. As you can see, I've got my fitness VG headlines here and then get stronger today. And I've got a video there that people can watch. And I'm gonna add another box in here because this isn't enough. I have the top box here, which looks great. This page with a video and then subscribe down at the bottom. That's really cool, but I wanna add one more. So press the blue plus button and it will take you through to all of these options on the left that you can actually add in as boxes. Something really good I think that would work for a fitness site is maybe using the quote box. So if you click on that, it gives you some options and some different designs that you can maybe use. So this is quotes obviously, so there's a lot of text here and then there will be maybe a image behind the text. I quite like this one, so I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna implant it into the site. As you can see, it's really, really big, but that's no problem. We can definitely edit this. It is too big for me at the moment, so just click on the text to edit it and then edit the text as you would like. So I've edited that now and I think that looks really good. It's a really bold uh, box to put on the site. It's just a customer saying that they felt great when they went with me. But again, the image is not good for my site. So the way that you edit that, go down to the bottom, press edit, then have to go on background and we can look at the image here. You can actually put a video in there underneath, which I think would be really cool. I'm just gonna have an image for now though. So definitely wanna replace that, press replace. Goes back to your photo library. Do have some images in here. I think this one is gonna work really well. So that will be the background image. It's just gonna upload it. And once more, I think that the image is a little bit strong for the text. So I'm just gonna uh, use that overlay like we did last time. It's got absolutely no opacity right now. We just maybe turn it up a little bit. I think that looks a little bit better. The text definitely stands out more. I'm happy with that. Can go back, maybe change the format again, make it a bit smaller. So actually, I think maybe medium looks pretty good this time. I'm gonna go back to section settings, colors, 
maybe we'll have a look at some black minimal to see how that looks. That looks really awesome. That looks better than the gray that we had. So I'm gonna keep that, go back to section settings. I'm happy with that now. So I just swipe down section settings. That looks really cool. I actually made a mistake here. I don't know what stinger means. So that should actually be stronger and just click off that. That looks really, really cool. It really stands out well. It's a good positive message that you would want people to see when they come and see your site. So we've got the fitness ZG, so people know, yeah, it's to do with fitness. You have the really cool picture back there, looks really awesome. Just a call to action, get stronger, and a video that people can watch. And then as we scroll down, just a customer testimonial that really stands out and looks good. And then you can subscribe to the newsletter or something else that you can actually put out if you want. If you don't want people to subscribe and you think they have nothing to subscribe for, you can just delete that, press confirm, and that will go and not be in there. Maybe I want to add another list in here, so I'm gonna press the plus button and look at all the things that I can add. I won't go through them all for sure, but I'm just gonna add a list here because I think that's really good in terms of showing off what people can actually do at the gym or if it's personal training. So I'm gonna look down here. As you can see, you have three different images, three or four different images with a lot of text. So I'm probably going to choose this first one. Just click anywhere on there and it will implant it. As always, if you want to edit the text, click on the text, edit it as usual. So I edited that and I'm just going to definitely edit this picture. So click on the picture. It will come down at the bottom. Do I want to replace or remove it? I also have some other options in terms of captions or maybe the way it fills the screen. So that can be different. You can click on those and just see what looks good. I'm gonna replace this image though, again, from my photo library. Definitely have a weight lifting image in there. So that goes perfectly with that. Swipe that down because I'm finished with it. That looks absolutely amazing. And then you can just do that over again for the other two. So I'll quickly do that. Okay, so I've finished editing that box. As you can see, it looks really good. It's a list just like it was before, but I've edited all of the pictures. So we just have some options here. It's a list, so weightlifting, have health, strength, just some great pictures. Then at the bottom, a call to action, come join us. We want to help you lead a healthier and happier lifestyle. And for sure, make it doesn't go. So as always, you can just click and then click again to edit, make it. The label isn't great, so I'm just going to delete that and say, join now. A really good call to action. That's good, I like that. So I'm gonna swipe that option box down. And there it is, come join us. Really good call to action. People can click on that and learn more about your services. So that is the home page we have edited and it looks really great. And if I go back up to the top and I'm finished editing with this one, I can just press done, save those changes. And that's my homepage finished. You can then just move that down and we go back to the back end of Squarespace. If we then press the up button for the site again, as you can see, this is the site. It looks really great. We have a video in there, got loads of pictures and we have a call to action at the bottom and a customer testimonial as well. I can change the address at the bottom, so I can go to edit that again. If you want to go back editing, just press the edit button. Definitely want to edit the footer. Maybe you wanna put your address in there. I won't do it now, but just to show you how easy it is to either get rid of that box or you just press the text and it will let you edit it just like everything else. I'm done on the home page though, so I will press done. Move that down and now we should go into pages, adding and editing pages. Obviously the home page is not the only page in your site. You have a lot of other pages as well, like the about us page or the contact us page, lots more. So press the pages option and they're all laid out really easily in the app. Everything's done really with a folder system and then pages. So you can see about us is a folder and in that folder you have a contact us page and an hour of views page. So for example, if I press the contact page, this is the forward slash contact page. So whatever your website would be, so if it was fitnesszg.com, it'd be fitnesszg forward slash contact. You could have forward slash about us, forward slash anything really. You can add and edit pages. This contact page is already here in Squarespace. They already have it done for you. So again, just like every other thing on Squarespace, definitely we're gonna have to edit these pictures to make it more relevant. So just press the edit button. It's highlighting it right there for me. Definitely want to change that background. So press the button at the bottom left, then press background. Again, just go into your replace and photo library. I'm gonna put a suitable picture on there. 
I'm gonna choose this one, could really be anything. And once more, it's probably going to need some opacity changes to make it look really cool. For sure, it does need some. So I'm just gonna turn that opacity up again. I think that looks pretty cool. Go back. If you want to format and change the way that the box is displayed, I think a smaller box on this occasion, probably maybe medium. Let's go medium back to section formats. You can also change the colors. Again, I thought the darker black looked really cool. So I'll probably change it there. Go back, swipe down section settings. That looks good enough for me. I can also change contact to maybe contact us or something like maybe get in touch is a little bit more informal with an exclamation mark, maybe not. Click off of that. What's really cool as well is the contact us page actually has a map that you can use with Google Maps. So if I click on that box and then go click on the map itself, and this is editable. So as you can see, it is powered by Google and maybe you're not in New York, maybe you're in LA. That is really easy to do. You could just put your address in here and it will get searched for on Google. If I swipe that down, it's going to maybe refresh and search for LA. I don't really like the black and white though. You can definitely change that. Just scroll right down to the bottom of these style settings. As you can see, grayscale here. Definitely want original and yep, it's colorful now. That's really cool. Go back out of there. You can also change any of those settings in Google Maps. So maybe you want terrain, maybe you don't, maybe you want your controls in there so people can actually edit it and see where they are in comparison to you. You can do that, but I'm happy with that. So I'm just gonna swipe down. So a really cool way of actually just showing people where you are, just Google Maps. You can obviously edit all of the text here again, just by clicking on the text and editing that just how you want. So I'm gonna click away from the Contact Us page. You can just press that arrow down. And I want to manage my pages. So I click this button in the top right hand corner, the hour of views page. I don't really have too many reviews. It's not really a review site like that. So I'm going to just delete that by pressing that red button there and then pressing delete. That page is now not there. If you delete a page by mistake though, you can actually just press done and then go down right to the bottom to the recycle bin. And there are actually lots of pages in here that I've deleted recently. If you did a mistake, you can actually just restore those really easily. So that's a good option. I'm gonna go back out to the pages, go up. And I actually want to add a page. So I'm gonna add a page here. You can maybe add a blog or events or a page layouts. So they will be maybe some themes or just a completely blank page to start off with. Just as an example, if I click on events, then you can title the page, upcoming events, maybe a group event that you want to create. So I'm just gonna create that. That upcoming events page is now there, but you can change where it is. So if you go to manage once more on the right hand side, you can just hold down these options and you can actually change where exactly that page shows up. So that's a really good option. Kind of happy where it is though. So I'm gonna press done, press that page and you'll go through to editing the page now. What's really cool about this is because I added an events style page, all of the options are right in there for me. It's so, so easy. So I'm just gonna create an event. So I want everyone to get together for charity and you can, you know, you can pick a date, which is really, really cool. And an end date, that would be the same day. That would be a really great thing to do. Put your location in there. Again, just powered by Google so everyone can see exactly where it is. Come out of there, really cool. And you can create that event. So, so easy to do that. Everyone can then go to that page and then see that event, which is really, really awesome. So you can just say people, hey, come to my website forward slash events and they can see all the events coming up. So really cool option. And if I press done on that and then save and publish, that is now published and it is a live page on that site. If I come down out of there, then back out to pages, Upcoming events is right there. I can delete that page though. If the event is finished or you've made some mistakes, you don't want it there, just press delete. That page is now gone. You can edit pages in exactly the same way as we did with the home page, with all of the boxes and all of the add-ons. I hope this Squarespace tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, please give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.